Hello everyone, welcome to Spine of Fit Plus. I am Saloni, working as a physiotherapist over here. Today we will be talking about Down syndrome. So let's look forward to it. We will be talking about what actually Down syndrome is, how can you know that your baby has a Down syndrome and basic handling of Down syndrome which you can perform at home. So we will start with it. So we all know that Down syndrome is trisomy 21. That is also known as floppy baby syndrome. It is usually found in males and is dominant by females in genetics. So so the risk factor is basically from mothers are when the mothers are chronic alcoholic smokers and also have a recessive gene of Downs. This basically affects the gene of a baby that is the 21st gene and hence known as trisomy 21. Also the baby if goes in fetal distress can also get the uh, genetic disorder due to RNA and can develop Down syndrome. Coming to how do you know that your baby has Down syndrome, there are some physical appearance features which you can know and see in the baby and know that the baby is suffering from Down syndrome. The baby usually has a flat facial profile, has upward slant, glide, uh, upward slant guys that is the facial profile, uh, profile would be totally flat, the uh, gaze of the baby would always be towards up. They, the baby also has a small uh, the moon face appearance. The main features the baby can have polydactyly that is multiple fingers has Simon crease which is a typical feature of Down syndrome. Simon crease is usually the lines of the baby as there is one single straight line like we all have multiple lines over the hand we all know and one of the main features is polydactyly that is number of features that we have already talked about and saddle joint already uh, there is a gap between the four first and the second uh, toes so that is one of the features from physical appearance the baby also has auditory uh, dysfunctions visual acuities so you can also correlate with that when you if the baby has down syndrome the, these babies are special kind of baby have learning skills but have physical retardation delayed response towards any stimulus so coming to what we can do to improve the condition is first for parents to keep confidence in themselves involve family for the treatment and know that these babies are totally capable of learning things though they have delayed response but they can be taught and can lead a good life till what they can coming to the second thing is what to avoid the baby usually prefers sitting in W position which is kind of this way I hope it's visible so you should avoid this for babies this is not effective for babies because this helps in this can lead to tibial torsion angle dysfunctions and also a posterior tilt of hip which may affect the posture and gait in later phases so you should avoid as a parent you may definitely want your baby to sit so you may pull the baby upward so that he can balance his neck but as they do not have neck control they tend to fall back which can cause excessive neck extension subluxation of joint because of joint laxity which is very prone in Down's babies because they have a joint laxity condition you should uh, avoid falling down you should definitely use supports while the baby reaches a age of standing or sitting use of orthosis and processes will definitely be recommended by your doctor as well as physiotherapist and OTs which you will prefer to go to Coming next, what you can do and what is the most important thing as a parent comes to handling of baby. So usually parents handle their baby this way or this way which is really wrong for Down's babies. When the baby wants to sit, you should definitely, when you take your baby, you should definitely handle in a way where you keep your hands below the knees and the chest you support your chest for the back of the baby usually these babies are floppy babies that is they tend to fall like this so whenever you make them sit make sure your lap has a good space and your chest supports the back of the baby though how big baby is and the legs straight as the baby is small and if he grows you can keep him this way that is flexing of knees or folding of knees over the floor to develop the support and this can also lead uh, help the baby with developing support uh, you, after in further stages as he will stand and all you should definitely keep a look towards neck control as it's really de very much delayed so neck control is not maintained while making the baby stand sit or whatever position you prefer you should always keep your hand below the occiput that is below the end so that baby has a good neck control this also helps sti uh, stimulate some muscles and develop neck control so as as for home treatment you can follow that 
coming to next is the stimulatory effects which can follow for down's babies uh, now down's baby have two stimulations that some babies can be hyperactive some can be hyperactive how to know that your baby is hyper hyperactive are some of my suggestions which you can follow for a hyperactive baby the baby wouldn't like multiple touches for a mother's touch of love he'll be very happy but for multiple touches of multiple people at the same time the baby wouldn't like the baby would get violent and cry for some foods he may react for crunchy foods and spicy food the baby can react violently cannot gulp the food can vomit the food back so you can know the baby is very hypoactive for a hypoactive baby as a treatment you can start with heavy joint compressions but remember do not to compress joints very hard you just have to place your hands at the ankles and front of fingers and try to make him stand in a with a small force remember these babies are very uh, very much prone to subluxations of joint and joint fractures so make sure you handle this with care and do def refer them to the physiotherapist they'll definitely teach you these techniques so coming to next if your baby is hyperactive for a hyperactive baby the baby would love to eat crunchy foods and different tastes of foods the baby would love uh, special the baby would keep smiling for a uh, 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 different uh, different touches and would love different touches so for a hy hyperactive baby you can calm him down you can for calming your baby you can act, uh, apply the techniques of rolling which i am doing now rolling uh, continuously can help your baby calm down this can also calm the muscles which are basically involved with the hyperactive baby this also stimulates the muscles of back to calm down your baby you can also apply the second technique is uh, making the baby lie prone running your hand from occiput to the back that is from head to the back and taking 5 to 7 strokes 5 uh, to 7 strokes are more than enough to calm your baby as for food you can use this as a multiple sensitization for a hypoactive baby you can use a semi solid and soft food to activate his taste you can use different spices and different textures of food uh, for hypoactive baby and for a hyperactivity different kind of small amount of crunchy foods can be used which are sweet spicy or salted to activate his taste this will really help him develop his sense and neural uh, neural tissues development can take place faster uh, coming to the uh, coming to the stage of food usually these babies should uh, should be given semi solid kind of food for nutrition make sure you take all the proteins in that semi solid food make it a mix and then serve it to the baby or make him eat like that so that's the one pro tip which could be given according to the recent studies music therapy has been proven uh, uh, to uh, importance and to importance for treatment and to the development of baby so for a hypoactive baby you can use a party music to make him activate or activate his brain stimulate his brain and for a hyperactive baby you can use calm music beat sounds or nature sounds which are early. for a downs baby make sure you keep a confidence in your baby uh, for recommendations i would after a age when he reaches a age of the walking and standing make sure you provoke standing and walking in the baby for standing you can use straps and supports there are various uh, sensory skills which you can apply using of rings different color of rings you can use this pebble boats to differentiate amongst animals and teach him this can help you with teaching as well as sensory stimulation you can use beads and a rope for sensory stimulations these are basic home activities which you can perform and uh, that's all for today make sure you support your baby and for future physiotherapy treatment you can come to spanafit plus which is always available so subscribe to the channel that's all for today thank you